Okay, welcome to the 6 o'clock Board of Aldermen work session. This is September 20, 2011. 6 o'clock, we're going to ask uh, Jason to talk, Jason Hansen, uh, our city engineer, to talk to us first about the sanitary sewer capital projects, the budget amendment. Jason, is that yours or is that uh, Jeremy's? Okay. Yeah, this is a transfer of funds um, from one account to another to do some construction on sanitary sewer projects, as well as another project to, to uh, pay for our recent easement acquisition for the sanitary sewer project that's planned to be constructed along 83rd Street from Raytown Road to Spring Valley Road. Um, attached are some of the uh, summary notes. If anyone has any questions, we'd be glad to answer. Any questions, Mr. Hansen, on the first item here? No questions? Gertz. I know the water department has also been in contact with him on this particular project because they're on, on the uh, timeline and has there been any uh, have, have the engineers signed off on this plan as being the final plan or are they still you said it, what kind of approval does it need after yeah the or the um, let's see on that front uh, RBA page it'd be the uh, the third or fourth paragraph of the analysis section for our construction easements on the White Oak West Line A project. The project is final designed. Uh, through the easement acquisition process, we do have some minor changes that need to be made to the plans. But the pipe alignment, uh, the street cuts and curb and gutter and everything is, is the final design. It's not likely that when this goes to DNR, though, that they would change anything because the engineers have already looked at everything DNR Correct. is going to look at. So we're, you're pretty confident, yes. extremely confident of that. Then. Okay. Right. Nothing, uh, nothing as far as structural or pipe-wise should change at all. It, the plan is pretty much set in stone. Thank you. Further discussion? Mr. Mock. Yeah. Mr. Hanson, I, I was reading here where it uh, has repair and replace, the repair of 752 feet and replacement of 714 feet. Then I get to reading uh, what it, the project consists of. It consisted of the same thing. I was just wondering if, it, if both of them were supposed to be replacement or replaced. Or it gets into the sanitary sewer main Yeah, both of those projects, the one on Crescent Avenue mm -hmm. around the 77th to the 78th block, that is a uh, remove and replace project. Okay. The, um, the cooperative contract with Widman and Godfrey Construction, uh, we plan to use uh, that cooperative contract for them, and it would be a removal and replacement along uh, Crescent from 77th to 78th. Then the, the next paragraph down, uh, 83rd and Lane to 84th Street, it's a very similar project in which uh, the manholes, pipes, uh, driveways and everything will need to be removed and replaced to have a new system installed in its place. These type of projects don't have to go to DNR since it's a removal and just replacement in the exact same area. There's no extensions, no new pipes. It's all just uh, removing the existing and replacing with, with new materials. Okay. All right. Thanks. Very good. Anything else? Okay. Mr. Hanson. Look, I don't think we need any motion to take anything forward, do we? You're not looking for any action, are you? Right. This this will come before the board uh, October 4th for approval. Very good. Thank you. Let's move on to item B, Jackson County Stormwater Commission. 
MOU, again presented by Jason Hansen, our, our uh, city engineer. Okay. The Jackson County um, formed their stormwater commission 10 or 12 years ago, year 2000. And uh, Mayor Stan Salva with Sugar Creek is uh, the lead of this group. And this is a the uh, an idea that the Board of Commissioners, along with Mayor Salva, has decided that they want to get with each community within Jackson County to have an agreement for more or less a formal agreement of understanding that each of the communities will plan to work together, communicate their projects, uh, more of a watershed basis than a city corporate boundary basis. Uh, the front page are my uh, kind of the summary of of uh, the commission's uh, master plan, their uh, their plan of action. This is a there. This does not obligate the city of Raytown to to any funding of projects or anything like that. This is more or less just a a uh, understanding that the city agrees to work with the county and all the other entities on stormwater projects on a regional basis. And this would come before the board for two readings, October 4th and October 20th. Or is that right? October 4th and October 18th. Okay. Questions, Mr. Hansen, on this item? Mr. Ertz. I was just glad that the MOU says it does not obligate the city to any financial commitment, which I don't see with that in there. I don't have any Correct. In the past, they have, uh, uh, and this has been probably six or eight years ago, but to start the commission to get some uh, kind of seed money to get going, they, they did build the uh, cities on a per size of land basis. And um, so Raytown's 10 square miles, we paid the same as Sugar Creek's 10 square miles. And Lee Summit paid on their 70 some square miles. But that was uh, quite a number of years ago. And they're still working off of that plus grant money. And then the county itself uh, typically has an annual budget for this commission. But as Pat stated, this, this memorandum of understanding will not to obligate us to uh, any projects or any funding or anything like that. It's just an agreement to work together with the other communities. Okay. Any other comments? No further comments. That, uh, that completes the work session agenda for tonight. We will uh, be back on the air at 7 o'clock. <laughs>